It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Welcome to another video. My name is Adin, alongside with my wife Mona. We're Hustling Hooks. We uh, resell stuff for a living online. If you watched the last video, you know we got a brand new space uh, and we officially get the keys tomorrow. So today is a prep day. But before we start prepping, let's go pull some orders. Only a few more days left of doing it this way. So part of the prep is going to be uh, getting all of this stuff down. Fortunately for us, we've made a good amount of friends through the years and we'll have a small team of people helping us out Friday morning getting everything into the U-Haul. We did rent a 20-footer. I think that should be enough to fit everything. We have roughly, what is it, it's like 1,700, 1,900? I don't know, uh, almost 2,000 listings, 1,600, I don't know, I should probably know this, let's look. Um, we have 1,951, so almost 2,000 listings, which I don't really know what that equates to as far as boxes, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a lot, it's probably something like 60 boxes plus, you know, several totes of shoes, I think it, we have something like 600 pairs of shoes, roughly. Our plan is to move all of the shoes and clothes only, keep all the hard goods here, and then just delay the uh, shipping and handling time to two days in our old store so that we can just grab whatever sold, drive it over to the new place, pack it there, and then ship it out. Anyways, uh, that's the plan for Friday. So today and tomorrow, we're just going to be processing and getting stuff ready, getting stuff uh, into spaces where it's a bit more efficient to move into the U-Haul than everybody comes by to help us. We have five sales to pull from the new store, I think three or four from the old store and like three or four from Poshmark from yesterday. We do ship the same day if we can, if the orders come early in the morning, we tend to ship them the same day. We've been averaging about 14 sales per day, so it's been nice and consistent. Obviously looking forward to um, getting that number into the 30s and 40s as we staff more people and get much more efficient. The first pair I'm pulling are these diesels, and you can see I misspelled them. Always check your listing titles. Uh, it's definitely going to help your listing sell a little bit faster if you spell it right. In this case, I didn't, but under the brand name, um, obviously that was spelled right. Diesel for 29 plus shipping. A pair of these AG Adriano Goldschmidt jeans sold for 28 plus ship. A pair of Under Armour Steven Stephen Curry. I should probably know how to pronounce that. Uh, 34 plus ship. Sold this relatively basic cotton pullover from Polo Ralph Lauren for a 20 plus ship. And kind of a cool one, this is a Columbia PVC thick nylon rain suit. Uh, sold for 29 plus shipping on top. It was a little bit dirty, uh, there were some dirt blemishes on there. Uh, but in really good overall condition. Uh, sold relatively quickly too, it took about two weeks to sell it. You can kind of see the blemishes on here. Uh, but that's okay, we uh, disclosed it and I hope uh, they read the description and saw the photos. Over on the Poshmark, we sold this Ted Baker London Blazer for 30, uh, plus they will pay shipping on top of that. Over on the old store, we have this Torrid uh, dress that sold for 34, free shipping. I think it's going to be first class shipping, uh, if not, we'll put it in a padded envelope. These Nintendo video games sold for $25.46, free ship. I got them, you know, for a buck a piece from a large garage sale, already in the profit. Just wanted to clean house, so I sent out some offers on them. They're not really worth much individually, so with these cheaper games, we just bundle them up and get them gone. And we sold these Carhartts for $32.26, free ship. Uh, they'll ship for 8 bucks in a padded envelope. Uh, nice to see those go as well. So here's uh, the dilemma up here. <laughs> um, Mona's five foot two and she is uncomfortable up here. I'm six foot ten and this is uh, me standing up in the loft. I can't stand up. So obviously I'm very much looking forward to getting out of here um, and picking orders not on my knees because it's it's quite uncomfortable. But that's the sacrifice, right? We've talked about this if you followed us for any amount of time. Like, you have to sacrifice um, to get stuff done. Just get it done. Don't make excuses about it. Um, do the best that you can. And then, you know, obviously we're graduating into the next level of our journey, which is getting into an actual space so that we can work efficiently and comfortably. So I'm going to pick these orders real quick. Uh, we'll drop in uh, with Melinda here shortly. 
We don't have a babysitter today, so my dad and our neighbor are going to come and help us out and uh, spend some time with Jessica, take her outside to the playground and whatnot, and just give us a couple of more hours of work time so we can get some more stuff done. I'll see you in a bit. Hi everybody, I'm Melinda. I'm the second half of Hustle & Hooks. We're gonna pick some more orders, show you where everything is at at the moment. Gonna pick some orders in my fort. Do you wanna show them your fort? Do you wanna show them? <laughs> is this is this your your office over here? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's where you work out of. Cool. Oh. All right. So P fourteen, right here. Might just uh, keep the boxes now. They make a good fort. What do you think, Jess? So it is T minus two days until we move. You might have noticed there's boxes everywhere, but there's a plan for those. It's just easier to move them where we've placed them than it is to go down to the basement, haul them up on the day of, or go up to the loft, haul them down the day of. Today, we are going to be working on just getting a lot, a lot of photos taken. That way, on the day of the move and then over the weekend and also through Monday, we will have time to actually set up, get a little bit more organized. We don't have to worry about taking photos to get our listings done. So yesterday, I'll show you what we did yesterday. So yesterday, Emily and I processed, meaning cleaned, uh, both of these huge boxes of shoes and there's more around here somewhere. So lots of shoes, which is great because they're easy, they're quick photographs. We're gonna load up our phones. We still have a bunch more shoes on our phones from another haul, but let me show you some of these brands. I mean, this shoe buy was killer. These are Allbirds. We had about three or four pair of those. These are Bloodstone boots. Uh, these are Dolce & Gabbana. We, there's also like Prada, a bunch of Tory Burch, Lanvin flats. This was just a, it was crazy. Every shoe I cleaned, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So yeah, uh, really happy about that and really excited to get them listed. So that always makes it easier and go by faster. Here are the other boxes of those sandals that have already been photographed. There were Dansko's and we all learned a lot of sandal brands. Uh, this person was in Texas, so obviously it makes sense. She had more sandals. Um, this Jack Rogers, really good sell through and sell price on those. Uh, more Landvins, um, some Oakleys, these vintage Candies boots. I have those listed for 150, so actual vintage chunky style, that's, that's a thing. Um, Salomons, more Tory Birches, so this is what we're working on listing and getting our drafts up. And then of course, oh yeah, these two, these two boxes also from that big shoe buy. So very excited. Listing is going great today. Listing and drafting, listing and drafting. That's the name of the game and taking more photos. So listing, drafting photos, listing, drafting photos, not necessarily in that order. Here's the Dean getting some photos done. So this is how we uh, do uh, photos of shoes. And as you can see, I am very uncomfortable, but it's another thing that I will not miss uh, once we move out of here. I didn't go through any of these uh, yeah. shoes that Emily and Melinda uh, processed, but I'm pleasantly surprised because there's a bunch of Allbirds, which is a great brand to look out for. You made a you made picture, a picture for, us? for us? Can you come show us? Come show us. You made a picture? Oh, wow. That's a good picture. What colors did you use there? Blue and blue. Blue and blue. And blue and blue and blue. Those are my favorite colors. And blue and blue. Mm -hmm. Nice, Jessica. And it flies. And it flies, guys. It flies. Look at that. That's, a, that's pretty cool. Wow. 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 Let's see what Tata's doing. Ask Tata what he's doing. Oh, I'm taking pictures of some pointy Dolce & Gabbanas. What a fly! What a fly! Yeah, anyways, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised there's a bunch of, of really good stuff in here, including uh, these Dolce & Gabbanas. Um, some are a little bit beat up, but you know, a lot of these brands are several Whoa. hundred dollars new, so... Whoa. I said We're watching, alright, of course. Whoa! Wow! 
But uh, yeah, so anyways, with some you know light blemishes, we can still make our margins and sell them for profit, obviously. Molokai's, the Allbirds, um, there's some Bionics in here, there's some Vince Camudos in here, there's some Just Vince, there's a lot of good stuff. Um, like I was saying, I didn't process any of this stuff, it was Monda and Emily who did that. So it's kind of cool to see what we got uh, firsthand. And we listed a bunch of this stuff already, and there are several of them that are worth over $100 a pair, which is awesome. So yeah, definitely a good score for sure. We're getting towards the end of getting these shoes done. Uh, this will have to wait until tomorrow. There's some more really nice uh, pieces in here. Uh, Doc Martens, of course, always a good one for you guys to look out for. The ones that are made in England tend to have a little bit better uh, price point or sales point. These are a little bit rough, but with the type of folk, the crowd that wears these, I think even when they're beat up, they're definitely in season or in style. You may remember these boots from earlier in this video. They just sold for $110 plus 15 shipping. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And these are, what are they? These are vintage candies, oh. chunky heel. Interesting. Those. Those. It's a, it's I don't a think. It's a look. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever yeah, heard of. Yeah, 90s. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, 90s are definitely in. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Nice job. High five. Can I have a high five, Jesse? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you being silly? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi. I know. It's yucky and rainy out. We can't go yet. But there's some really cool ones. Like, uh, I don't know if Mona showed off these Prados that came in. We have these very rare. Um, uh, Jordan Retro once, but they're like um, the deconstructed version or whatever. I couldn't find any that are for sale in this pink, so I listed them for 100 plus ship, even though they have some dirt blemishes on them. There's some really good stuff in here. Um, some Ted Baker Londons. We have some uh, Kate Spades. Uh, there's some Prada in here as well. Like uh, I think I just actually mentioned these Pradas. There's another heel in here that I thought were kind of exceptional maybe they were in a different box some more all birds down there anyways really good stuff as far as our listing goes uh, this is the board for march so um there's definitely been some days where we we're off you know we have only listed two on this thursday the third we listed zero on the 27th but again you know of one here seven there yeah there's been a lot going on with mona's father passing there's been a lot of adjustments of course some days off etc we did get our 30 done already. We got up pretty early this morning, so that's done uh, for today. And so we shifted to 30 a day this week so that we can uh, stay on top and so that we can have um, enough drafts to carry us through 30 a day through Tuesday. That should give us enough time to kind of get everything up and running as fast as possible uh, at the new place. So yeah, it's a pretty good day so far. Um, really happy those uh, boots sold so quickly we had them listed for 150 you know plus offers or with offers on 110 is more than fair um the rest of the day i think tonight you know after family time we'll probably spend a little bit more time drafting we have something like 30 or 40 drafts done so tomorrow's listings are already done emily rejoins us tomorrow so we'll just get a lot more done um listing wise and then we're gonna start pulling stuff from the loft and pulling stuff from the basement and get everything aligned so that when the u-haul comes in we can just get it in the back of the u-haul as fast as possible and make the transition uh, as smooth as possible say thank you see you next video take care awesome job See you guys, until the next one.